Oh. Right, you're, you're live. So oh, as you guys yeah. remember uh, from the last time, uh, you had finished with the burial and you were invited back to uh, the Lorimar's house for the will and uh, testament and things like that. Uh, but in we're gonna we're gonna pay a little homage to Mr. Lavalley with a with a little flashback to uh to one of the characters. Okay. Nice. Let's do it. Cool. Flashback work. So a, imagine yourself. Uh, camera view behind you see a younger boy and a woman walking down kind of a common dirt road street and um they're just walking talking and it kind of pans up and you see this ginormous building up in the distance and you hear the little boy say i can't i can't wait i can't wait and the lady looks down at him and says now remember to be respectful and the boy just shakes with giddiness and grips his mom his mom's hand a little bit tighter. And this big building in the distance is a large, looks like black, shiny scarab off in the distance, towering above everything else. And then it flashes forward and you see the boy and his mom at the entrance to this massive building. And she goes, she looks down and she says, now mind your manners around the high priest. And they start walking in. So, you see a giant black scarab massive building. And these, this boy and his mother walking into it. Now let's fast forward, and we are in the Lorimar's house. She has invited you guys over. Uh, Vashian, Councilman Vashian Hearthmount is here. That is this gentleman right here. Uh, you are going to hear Lorimore's will, and then um, there's a tomb. There's some tomes that he has left behind for you guys. Um, so feel free. Uh, you guys can move up, uh, and then when you're ready, um, we I will read you the will. Hey, there's some tomes on the table. There is a big chest, uh, which she has told you has tomes in it. There is his will, um, and then uh, just, you know, things that he has left. Okay. Are we, are we supposed to rummage through this stuff before the will, or should we hear the will first, and then those stuff will be handed out? I don't want to be like, you know, it's like, no, oh, yeah. We, uh, try the to will, this reacted or something like that. Yeah, the will will be ready. The will will be read when you're when you guys step up there. I just didn't want to immediately put you guys up there for the will. Oh, okay. Does anyone else want to do anything? No, I'm, I'm good. We can. I'm good to hear it. Yeah. Dang. Still need money. When you're ready, just go ahead and move up. How are you doing? She'll cordially greet all of you um, and, and smile. And when she looks at Zaid, she'll, you know, slightly, like, reach for the plasma and, like, nod her head at you. All right, I'll do the same. All right, we're going to see if this works. Um, I have, Josh, I don't know if you've ever done this, but I, I put this in a handout. Oh God! I was testing these out. It is a pain in the butt. So, what is this? Uh, I 
can, can you see anything that I'm saying? That I'm no. clicking? No. no. Nope. Did you give us access to it? That was my hardest problem. I, I'm in the handout section, but I don't see anything. Yeah, I haven't. I It says show to players. So I was hoping that it would show to, show players, to players. But <laughs> Did uh, you click that right. and nothing happened? Yeah. Uh, let me see. Oh. It's all messed up. Yeah, I'm not gonna jinx anything. I'm half my role playing even loaded. Right, let me see if this works. I'm gonna put it in your guys' journals. Um, I'm also going to read it to you. But okay. all right, check your um, journals and see if yeah. it's in there. Yeah. Okay, so I'll read Wait, it to you. I, um, I'm sorry, where do I check my journal? It's, it's the oh, third I it. tab. I see a tab. Yeah. I, I got it. Yeah. All right. Hang on. My 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 computer is dying on me. <laughs> well, I'm, gonna going. I'm gonna read it. Just, going yeah, I mean, go ahead. Just know that you guys have that, uh, but I'll read it to you. Okay. I Petros. Being of sound mind, do hereby commit to this parchment my last will and testament. Let it be known that with the exception of the specific details below, I leave my home and personal belongings entire to my daughter, Kendra. Use them or sell them as you see fit, my child. Yet beyond the bequeathing of my personal effects, this document must serve other needs. I have arranged for the reading of this document to be delayed until all principles can be in attendance, for I have more than mere inheritance to apportion. I have two final favors to ask. To ask. To my old friend. Scott, if you're talking, I can't hear you. <laughs> to my old friends, silence. To my old friends, and then he died. <laughs> and maybe that's this is, it. Maybe this is part of the thing. Hang on. Could be uh what Scott does in real didn't tell us is that there's written in there it says dramatic pause. <laughs> it's a it's an extremely pregnant pause. Just a William Shatner pause, if you will. Uh, no, see, this, uh, this this pause is about nine months pregnant. Scott is what? the rocket man. What? No one could hear you. We, we didn't hear anything. You said to my old friends and then died. And then just dropped. Uh, well, let me let me go back. To my old friends, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. yeah. I hate to impose upon you all, but there are few others who are capable of appreciating the true significance of what it is I have to ask. As some of you know, I have devoted many of my studies to all manner of evil that I might know the enemy and inform those better positioned to stand against it. For knowledge of one's enemy is the surest path to victory over its plans. And so, over the course of my lifetime, I have seen fit to acquire a significant collection of valuable but dangerous tomes, any of which, in the wrong circumstances, could have led to an awkward legal situation. While the majority of these tomes remain safe under lock and key at the Lepestad University, I fear that a few I have borrowed remained in a trunk in my Raven Grove home. While invaluable from my work in life and in death, I would prefer not to burden my daughter with the darker side of my profession, or worse still, the danger of possessing these tomes herself. As such, I am entrusting my chest of tomes to you posthumously. 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 Yeah, there you go. I ask that you please deliver the collection to my colleagues at the University of Lepestad, who will put them to good use for the betterment of the cause. Yet, before you leave for Lepestad, there's the matter of another favor. Please delay your journey one month and spend that period of time here in Raven Grow to ensure that my daughter is safe and sound. She has no one to count on now that I am gone. And if you were if you would aid her in setting things in order for whatever she desires over the course of this month, you will have my internal gratitude. From my savings, I have also willed 
to each of you a sum of 100 platinum coins. For safekeeping, I have left these funds with Embreth Deramid, one of my most trusted friends in Lepestad. She has been instructed to issue this payment upon the delivery of the borrowed tomes no sooner than one month after the date of the reading of this will. I, Petros Lormor, hereby sign this will in Ravengoad on the first day of Calistril in the year, and we don't need a year. All right. And then, again, that is in your handouts. So if you ever need to reference it for any reason, um, that would be nice. Sir. <clears throat> Did you stay here a month, and then we get a 1,000 gold? No, uh, platinum. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah, it's 100 platinum is 1,000 gold. I was just converting it. Oh, yeah. well, I'm, never mind. I'm sorry for being so glib. <laughs> no, 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 you're good. <laughs> I'll just make it easier for all y'all, because everything's usually listed in gold price. I just assumed that I, yeah, okay, gotcha. Yeah. So wait, why is the year blank? Is it just, oh, it is just for you. Is it, wait, I got it. You can set this campaign, like, whenever, if you want. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But, I you know, it, doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Okay. okay, okay. So okay. we have to wait a month. Gotcha. All right, so what's going on, Scott? Explain you this to us. You don't have to wait a month, but he's asking you to wait a month. I don't, okay. I don't get paid if I, wait, if I don't wait a month. Yeah, we get paid... If we wait a month, um, so I mean, after a thousand Vashin, gold piece is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sick. After Vashian um, has finished reading this, uh, Kendra looks to him and thanks him. You know, um, then uh, she'll, you know, she'll bid him a farewell, and then. Um, so he'll just tap in. Go to the GM layer. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have him disappear. DM jokes, baby. <laughs> um so uh she'll she'll look to you all after the after he's left and um you know, kind of you, you know, choking back tears because her father is gone, uh, and she'll say, I'll need at least a few weeks. I don't know if I'm going to stay or if I'm going to just sell this and sell the house and leave. Um, but if you guys are going to stay for the month, feel free to stay here and we'll, um, we'll figure out a plan from there and I'll figure out what I'm going to do. I will stay by your side, Kendra. You have been a good friend to me. I shall stay. I'll stay too. Sure, I'll stay as well. <laughs> Side note, it'd be really weird if I just left. So, yes. <laughs> I won't stay. See ya. <laughs> Bye, Soku. I'm in it for the money, honey. <laughs> um, so she'll, she'll go ahead and she'll step aside. Um, you guys can step up, um, and if you'd like, you can go through the, the tomes. Sure. Uh, there is a key next to it, uh, that you just unlock the chest that the tomes are in, and then, um, they're just stacked in there. I, I have much training with tomes. So I can read and hand out as needed. Please do. I have, I've seen a lot of things in my travels, but this is all very new. Uh, I have much training with the dead. All right, so I, I reach in there and pull out a tome. After I, I'll take the key and unlock it, and then pull out a tome. What do I see? There are five total tomes. Um, the the you see a couple of old to old tomes, and then the newest tome is on the top, um, and it says, read me now. All right, let's do it. Um, it uh, when you open it, um, it'll say, uh, when you open it, it says that it is Petros's journal. 
Okay. Uh, I, I take that and I hand it to uh I hand it to Ariane since she's the one who's most familiar with this area. Can you read this please? Uh of course. I, I don't know if I feel comfortable reading Petra's uh, inner thoughts. Uh Kendra, is it okay? Uh do you do you mind? Yes, he left all of these to you. Do with them as you please. Okay. Um, do you want like a knowledge history or something? We'll, uh, we'll, Scott? Get, we'll get to all that later. Okay. <clears throat> There's. We'll we'll get into that later. Eight thousand okay. uh, knowledge check. <laughs> um. Uh, the other. Uh, you see the there's three other tomes in there that are ones of the dangerous sort, and then there is a fourth tome that it's more like a it's more like a book or a notebook kind of. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so the first one, uh, the next one that you pull out, Josh, uh, is yep. called the Manual of the Order of the Palantine Eye. That is a long name. Yeah. Um, give me just a moment, and I will show you what it looks like. Did you say Palantine or Palpatine? Like, are we in Star Wars? <laughs> Palantine. You'll see. Oh, that is what it looks Whoa. like. Interesting. This thing looks scary. It's got a big scarab on it. It does. Yeah. I hate I hate scarabs. Uh, I'm pretty familiar with scarabs from Assyrian. They're all over the place. Um. Okay. I'll read you what it. Just a little blurb about it. Uh, this rich purple cover contains a brass scarab set with a single eye in its center. Um, and that's pretty much all you know about it right now. All right. Great. <laughs> the third one that you remove from the chest uh, is called Unverified Madness. It is a jet black book, and it's um, you'll just have to study it more to figure out what it is. Is it on uh, verified madness? On verified madness, yes. Okay, so not unverified, but on verified. Mm-hmm. On. Okay. Cool. Cool. What do you What do you mean by study it? To, is that like a, a role that I have to do? Yeah. Yeah. There's like spellcraft. There's like knowledge checks out the wazoo. Probably arcana. Um, yeah. oh, okay, I just said uh, yeah. Local. I see. I see. I see. Uh, you do. You do know um, that the order of the Palantine Eye. It has. Um, It has a, a keyhole, uh, but there's no key. Okay. Um, the next tome that you pull out is called Serving Your Hunger. Ew. And on the, uh, on the top of this one, you see... Um, let, me, let me look up the exact thing of what it is. I don't, I don't know what it exactly is. Uh, you see a fly that is decor like a skull decorated fly. Like, uh, like the bug? Yeah, like a fly that has that's looks like it's shaped in the like its wings are of flesh and its body is of bone. 
the next one is called The Umbral Leaves. That sounds cool. And the last one, the the book, you don't know what it says um, unless any of you speak Varesian. It is in Varesian. So if you speak that, then you would be able to tell what it is. What if we have linguistics? Um, you you would not be able to. The DC is too high for you to be able to tell. All right. Well, I'm an idiot then. <laughs> but if but if you know of anybody who speaks Varesian, you can ask them. All right. You said Varesian. Yeah. All right. I will. Uh... Um, Kendra will come over and say, is everything in order? I believe so. Did he, did he leave you anything that would detail where he was? I I would suspect in his journal. Journal. Um, Does it say anything? Okay, cool. uh, it will. Um, she'll she'll ask you guys if you need anything else from her. Um, A million dollars. Like anything oh, with the two. Item wasn't enough. Never. I got student loans, man. For real. Kendra. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, uh, Kendra, we are probably very, uh, we're okay down here. You must be exhausted. You, why don't you go rest? Okay. And, um, she'll bid you all a farewell. Um, and because she speaks Osirian, um, as one of her languages, she will say goodbye to Zaid, and she will disappear. Unless you guys need anything else from her. Nope. I'll say goodnight to her in in Syrian as well. Yeah, I'm good. All Not right. Work. So let's see. So the the journal is not the. The journal is just something that you can keep or you can give it to her. I mean, it's it's yours. Uh, it's not one of the tomes that has to be delivered. Um, and the one that's in Varesian is also one that um, is not dangerous, so it does not need to be returned to Lepishtad. But the other three are? Uh, the other three are, yeah. So just yeah. to just to be clear... The three bad boys are the Manual of the Order of the Palantine Eye, On Verified no. Madness, and Serving no. Your Hunger. On Verified Madness, Serving Your Hunger, Hunger, and The Umbral Leaves are the three that need to be returned to Lepishtad. Oh, okay. okay. Did we? Did you say what the Umbral Leaves looked like, or did do we not know? Uh, it. Uh, the front of it. Um, says that it is an unholy book of Zan Kuthan. Oh, lordy almighty. Um, if you, you know want... who that is, Josh? <laughs> yes. Zaid would also know, but I know who that is. You can, um, you can also do a knowledge religion check on what the fly is for the, um, Bones and flesh. If you right. have knowledge, religion, you you can roll that. And I do not. Uh, thirteen. No. Um, I ran out of skill points to put knowledge, religion in mine. Even though, speaking from my background, I should know it, but I don't. So, oops. <laughs> you're, just like a, you're just like a terrible, terrible student. 
You're not you're you're not you're not of the of the cloth anymore. Yeah, well, my class doesn't have a whole lot of religion bonus, but my backstory does. Mm. So I just kind of left it out. And I was just gonna put a point in it later, and hopefully it never came up. But that was stupid of me. Oh. So I won't. <laughs> if you guys want, you can, like, you can think of um, Kendra. Like, she can, like, you can invite her on quests, like on things to go do. You can ask for her advice. You can, you know, whatever. Like, she is available at all times. If that makes sense. Okay. So if we need her, we can go get her. Yeah. Think of her like Umlo and uh what's her bitch's name? Uh oh, Umlo's God. Gilder, Umlo and um Ingerhild. Ingerhild, yeah. yeah, yeah. So like they could do perception checks, they could do knowledge checks, they can, you know. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Cool. Um. So, which which one of these do you want to look at the journal first? I think uh, uh, Ariane would want to read the journal first, just because she was so close with um, Petros. Do you want to read it with the group? Do you want to? How? Who? Like, who's holding the books? Is I'll one person holding them? To at least hear the journal. Um. And. <clears throat> He's been away from the professor for a while. I'd like to, you know, see what uh, see what's been going on with him as far as that goes. Yeah, and theory, I was never that close. So it'd be nice to hear some stuff too. Uh, yeah. Aryan can just like read it out loud for everyone and skim through stuff, and then like hand it to everyone after that too. Yeah, like a works. Spark Notes version. Yeah. Yeah. Now, are you talking about the the Danger Boy books? I can hold on to those. Yeah, I mean, We're... just who's ever who's ever holding them. I mean, like, is somebody going to keep the journal? Is somebody going to keep the other books? Who wants Aria the will book keep the for region? Aria I can I can hold on to the Bad Boy books because I have training from my background. Okay, will you only get corrupted, uh, or is there is there like a downside to just passing them out? Per person. Well, if I get corrupted, no, just they're, kill me. They're not. They're not corrupted. You can't get infected like evilly by them. Yeah. So what will be the downside to distributing the the books out? There's there's no d downside. All right, we can do that. Who um, wants what? Who wants the Parisian one? Uh, that's the one that none of us can read, right? Yeah, uh, you want that one? I have I have linguistics, so I can yeah, give it to the one. I'm trying to hang on one second. I might. Let me double check one thing real quick. Give me like a minute to pull up my character sheet. I yeah, thought sure. I had it up and I was wrong. Um, <laughs> I'm also full disclosure paying my mortgage real quick because I forgot to do that. <laughs> <laughs> as as one does. My See, this game, this game helps, um, <laughs> helps people pay okay, mortgage. Sorry. Um, I thought you I can, had. You can about... attempt a linguistics check. Josh, if you want, you'd have to get a natural twenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have. Um... Let's go it. Sure. Anybody with linguistics can. No, nope. I don't have linguistics. I got bodied. I Man, you got. <laughs> you you pull uh you what's that um good burger gif? Yeah, I know some of these words. <laughs> <laughs> I Does anybody have, have linguistics that they would like to roll? No, nope. not me. No, I'm. I ain't even gonna try. Or like, wait a minute. So like, if I don't have linguistics checked, can I still roll? And just if I hit no. a nat twenty, anything with the asterisk, you can't do unless you have at least one rank in it. I'm pretty sure linguistics is the one that you have to know. Yeah, it is. No, I don't have a. There, I don't have an asterisk next to linguistics. No, it's not asterisk. Or a yeah, w. You, um, my dad the Mine's star a to the left of it to the to the yeah. right after there's like a checkbox well i don't know what yeah what i don't mean. have the yeah uh, the, there's some that have like the little black dot yes yeah linguistics doesn't have that for me oh it has it for mine it says trained only on it oh yeah, mine mine no mine says you can use it untrained so who's who's right oh no you can use it untrained wait 
No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. If it's okay. if it's starred, you can use it. If it's not starred, you can't use it. So uh, this okay. one is not starred, so you it can't do it. It is not starred. It is. Well, not you guys must have a you guys must have a bass backwards version of the one I have then. God damn it! I'm just fucking log out of this shit. I hate this game. Okay, <laughs> so um, you can you want to do the journal? Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll hold on to it. Or, yeah, or no, I'll hold on to the whatever the fucking unreadable one is. I thought, and then I thought Arya the, was going to read the journal. I thought Zayd was taking the unreadable one. Because he's the one with linguistics. Yeah, I can take the unreadable you can, one. You can yeah, also but, just leave it here. Like, you don't, you can, you're staying here, so you can, like, leave it with Kendra or wherever you want. I mean, what you don't have need to. It. Sure. That's true. All I right, want well, to. I want to hold on to the region one. Y'all can do whatever okay. you want with the other ones, but I'm going to stick to it and flip through it like it's a porno mag. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, porno mag, um, you can't read. Yep. That's fine. You don't really have to read porno mag. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so REN, you're you have the journal, right? Yes. All right. Go ahead and roll a perception check as you're skimming through the journal. Okay. Ooh, that's a 25. Oh. No, I'm kidding. That, that uh, is not a 25. 22. That's still pretty big. Yeah, that's, that is that is good. Um, and it's good. Is, let's see, can I put... This is... I don't know. Can I sh that doesn't work. Uh, all right, so I am adding something to your guys' journals. Uh, these are uh, circled entries in the professor's journal. So the it starts at, you know, the long, the oldest was 10 years ago, two months ago, one month ago, 20 days ago, 18 days ago, and 17 days ago. That's in our journal? Yeah. yeah. I have found something peculiar. Did you, what do you guys think this means? I got the read better way to do it. Yeah, I can only, can you guys not see the whole image? I cannot. Yeah. See oh, I have to scroll through it. It's weird. I can't. The whole right yeah. side's cut off. Like you, so know, you have to scroll, scroll left and right. Yeah. You have to yeah. resize your window right. to make it bigger. Yeah. Which is a bummer. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got it. I got it. We're, we're good. Yeah. You guys have it. Yeah. yeah. You just gotta make your window a little bit bigger. Okay. I'm not reading through all of those, but. You know, you can you can read through them. All right. Uh, the biggest things I will tell you is that, that uh, the group that is big that they keep that he keeps mentioning is called the Whispering Way. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that he refers to that in shorthand as just the way. Then. Yes. Okay. A cabal of necromancers. Mm -hmm. uh, there is something in Ravengrow. Um, what is Harrowstone? Is that the is that the the cemetery? Uh, you you will have to do a um, uh, a knowledge check on that for me to be able to tell you what it is. Knowledge local. Oh, we'll, we'll get to there's a lot of knowledge checks that you'll have to do so we'll get to all of that here in a minute okay I, know oh, I, see, local. I see temple of phrasma under the 20 days ago section i can help yeah, with that they they have a list of all the people who died in the fire false script and the rest was Barney Bear returned to prison as prepared as the latest one was finished yeah are we able to review this after the session or is it yeah. imperative that we read it right now? Yeah, can we review um, it after the session? Because reading's hard. Uh, the the biggest things that you want that you want to know are there the whispering way. There's something in Raven Grow. Um, that he mentions something about the Temple of Phrasma that's in town, and they used to have uh, items, um, and they 
store them in a false crypt in the restlands, which is where you were. And this is his investigation into them. Oh, so there's but a fake can... there's a fake grave in where we buried Petros? There's a a, a, a false crypt, yes. Ooh, snap. Anyone want to do some grave robbing? Oh, we we know. Know. Okay. Well, so it's Sunday, let's, um, so. All right, let's go to this real quick. Um, so you reviewed that. You can read through all of it if you want. Um, all right, so for the Manual of the Order of the Palantine Eye, the purple book that I showed you, um, you don't have a key. Um, you can do a disabled device check. Um, you can destroy the lock, or you can force it open with the strengths check. But if you do anything besides the disabled device, um, you damage the book. Uh, I'm not a rogue, so I can't disable the device. Okay. Well, Does anyone have like a lock deck? Over? Or any tools or anything I, like that? I have I have disabled device. Plus oh. that's, cool. that's cool. Give it a whirl. Can I, can I roll it? D twenty? One D twenty? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh Ooh. shit bags. <laughs> I feel like Nailed you sat on it. It catches on fire. All over, so I rolled a nine. That's perfect. Uh that is not good enough. I don't think so. Can we wait 24 hours and do it again? So uh, sure. Yeah. Okay, wait, can I, can, I, can I just, like, hang on. I got this. What about one of those? I'm just keep doing it over <laughs> and over again. All right, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> um, okay, so... Can he take 20 on that, technically, Scott? N no, because you... Because you don't have the right tools, so you're just trying to. No, you can't. You cannot. Unfortunately, even with a twenty, you, you wouldn't make it. Oh, that's um, fair. That's fair. That. <laughs> okay, that's All right, that's going to so be a GM. The um, so the order of the pouncing eye, you know, has to be open somehow for you to be able to read it um on verified madness um if you want to do uh i'll just take uh it's not locked so you can look through it um neither is serving your hunger neither is the umbral leaves but you already know what the umbral leaves is about um so you have to stay here a month um you have all these you you don't know what Harrowstone is. Uh, you don't know what the R Whispering Way is. You know you. Yeah, we gotta right, investigate right. during our. Found out about the false crypt. What what do you guys want to do? This is open for you to do pretty much whatever you want. Can I do a knowledge check for Harrowstone? Is that something you said that we could do? Yeah, let me. I have local knowledge plus two. Or plus four, sorry. So you can do it. Uh, you can do it in either way. Um, you can only do it once per day to figure out what it is. Uh, but um, there's four places uh, that Arian can tell you. Um, because you just dis dismissed Kendra already. There's four places that Arian can tell you um, that would help in your research. Um, uh, Petros's library, his personal library, can aid you in your research. The Raven Grow Town Hall, the Temple of Phrasma, and uh, a place called the Unfurling Scroll. What kind of place is that? Uh, it's a combination of a schoolhouse and a magic item shop. 
Interesting. Well, I would have an easy end for the temple, personally, but I don't know about the rest of y'all. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's, it's a very good first league. I'm still uh, going wondering to about my... Game. Sorry. I'm still wondering about my knowledge check. I don't know if that's going to happen or, or if that is not able to happen. Yeah, well, give, him, can, give him his knowledge. <laughs> you can do it. You can do a knowledge check, but if you go to a specific place to do a knowledge check, you get bonuses on your knowledge. Oh, snap. Sure, but is there a downside to doing it now? You can only do it once a day. day. Oh, so okay, okay. if you do it now, you can't go to another place and okay. say, I okay. want to do a knowledge religion check on or knowledge history on Harrowstone. Like, like okay. if, if you do it now flat, you don't get the bonuses other places. I get it. I get it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Oh, Zaid, sorry, do, do, you, Zaid, do you want to go to uh, for Roswell uh, church? Since uh, you are a devout follower, yes? Yes, I am very familiar, but I believe you mentioned that you are not a believer of the undead. What, the undead leader, what is your opinion on entering our temple? Well, you know, I don't know if I would be welcome there. Uh, I am a person of uh, holiness, so I wouldn't be opposed to going with you. Um, plus, I could show you where it is since I study here. Um, but I don't know how much I will gain from going there myself. But if you go, we could get a lot more information. Oh, I I am willing to go. I just do not want to... Uh push you into some place that you do not believe to be sanctimonious, you know, make you uncomfortable. Well, Petros believed and we, that's something we did not agree on, but that didn't mean I didn't respect him as a human, so I will, uh, I will go with you um, out of respect for you, but I do will not participate. Okay. As long as you are mentally sound, then I vote we go there. So you guys are, do you all vote to go to the Temple of Phrasma? Right, yes, sorry. Yes, I also agree to go. Yes. Am okay. I welcome and there? It... Question mark? Yeah. Like, are Joe and I welcome in there or no? Yeah. Well, no. I can, yeah, I okay. can bring you in as my guest. It's not like Ferrazzo's oh, okay. going to be a whole hoe bag. Like, she'll let anybody in. Okay. She's not like the Catholic Church. We can just get out of there. <laughs> right. No, she's she's the uh, the farrier of people to the afterlife. Ooh. Yeah. Every, everybody dies. I got it. Okay, so yep. there's a couple of things that you can research. Which one do you want to research? Do you want to research Harrowstone? Do you want to research the Whispering way do you want to research the five prisoners hmm. uh is is Rasma going to point us in one direction is, is, is it more likely that that is going to help us with one or the other i would uh, assume somebody who's you, like undead if you go to the to temple be. of Phrasma, you get a bonus on all three uh oh snap but in order to use that, you have to do a diplomacy check uh, with Father Grimborough or your or have a trust score, which you do not have yet. Well, our diplomacy is utter trash. Well, yeah. jokes on you. I have a spell I could cast on you. Oh, to make us well, diplomatic. Enhanced diplomacy is a zero level spell for me. and I can cast it on uh, Zaid. I technically oh, have a zero diplomacy buff, so I'm. Uh, you lost, what's your charisma score? My charisma score is seven. Oh no, no you have you have not you have a less than a ten. So that's that it. means 
Yeah, that means it's minus two because you have to have your ability modifier. Yeah. Unless you have and a plus two diplomacy. And then I, I have a plus two, which sets it to zero. Yeah. Oh, well, you're better than me. I'm at negative one. <laughs> so while you guys are talking, Kendra's going to come up and she's going to say, if you guys need directions anywhere, I know Aryan's been here a little bit, but I would be more than happy to help you uh, get around town. Uh, some of the locals can be a little bit difficult, uh, as we experienced in the wrestlings. And you can always use um, my father's library for free over here. Some of them, the townsfolk don't like outsiders, so it might be harder for you to do research um, on whatever topics you're thinking about doing research on. Do you recommend the library first? I would say it would be a good starting spot for you guys to, you know, you've had a long journey here. It might be good for the first night. You guys just take it easy. I will I will make you guys a nice meal. And, um, you know, if you want to go do some exploring in the town a little bit later, uh, like tonight, um, we normally eat dinner here around 5, so it'll be an early, early dinner. And you guys can go out a little bit later if you'd like. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you very much. I mean, you guys got here in the morning was the burial, so. True. All right. Well, yeah, what's, can, we, can we inquire what's for dinner? Or is that like uncouth? <laughs> yes, we're having. I am going to make a wonderful rabbit stew that my father used to make me. Mm. Arian, do you remember those those cold winter nights when when Petrus would make those? Uh they were sublime. Especially with the taters. Who don't like the taters? <laughs> All right, okay. so you guys, uh, do you guys want to do some research here first? You can yeah. go to other places. It'll just be harder for you to do research. It sounds like we should start in the library for yeah, what I was doing. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's being no uh, implied. Well. Yeah, so which way is this library at as uh, a trial just walks <laughs> walks off over here? There is the library right off to the right. Yeah. If you guys need anything, just let me know. I'll be I'll be over here doing some homework. <laughs> um I wanna go talk to Kendra while everyone else is starting to read, if that's okay. That's fine. Sure. And Trial and I will be over here going through books. Thanks. Just, just checking. Uh, Ken, Kendra, I, I was reading the journal and I have these circle captions on the top. Would you know anything about the places uh, Petros was talking about? This whispered mm -hmm. way, this, um, tarot stone, and you know I'm I. Being new here and studying, I didn't really uh, go off and wander very much. You know, the the whispering way was something that Petros was very um, concentrated on, as as he believed in their dark magic would bring about the destruction for. Ustalav and Raven Grow. Uh, Harrowstone is only something that I've heard of in stories about about the fire. Um, my father would talk to me about that a, a little bit, but other than that, I, I I apologize. I don't have much other information, but I'm sure scouring through his library will help you guys with that. Thank you, my lady. Don't worry if you guys need anything else. I'm, I'll just be over here. Just come and let me know. Thank you. Um, so, how do we search the library? Can, let's do a can I do a perception check for like any like any title that like catches the eye, like something that would be similar to like a Harrowstone or like the Whispering Way. Uh. Sure. I mean that it's really just your. It's. 
I mean, you're really just going through and like just picking. There's not like specific books or anything like that. Gotcha. Um, but you do notice that a lot of the books are written in Verisian. Like the titles are written in Verisian, so you can't like you don't know what most of them say. Well, maybe we should call over Kendra to see if she can read Verisian. Um, you can. Do you do you guys wanna do a knowledge check first? Which one uh which one do you wanna do you can only do it on the whispering way at his place. So do you wanna somebody wanna roll a knowledge history? Uh let me see, does it tell me which one it is? If I... Uh I'll take Arcana or Religion. Cool. All right. I, I have knowledge religion, so I have Arcana. So I've if anybody else has Arcana or religion, PJ, I'm pretty sure you do too. I'm uh, I, you I think you have Arcana. Oh come on! Uh, <laughs> I do have Arcana. Rolling like dirt. I have a plus seven, and I roll a six. All right. So you got a thirteen. I have a eleven for religion. Okay. And PJ, what's your knowledge arcana roll? Uh, let me. Jesus Christ. We're all just super dumb. <laughs> That's nine. <laughs> Is that a nine? It's a disaster. Yeah. Okay, so your highest roll was a 13. Okay, let me see what I can give you. Um, so, in reading a bunch of his uh notes about it again with with a lot of it being in Verisian, you can only get a little bit um the the parts that you can read are about agents of the whispering way uh they often will try to seek alliances with undead creatures or themselves are undead um you see a lot of mentions of a name called Tar Bafan. Um, the Whispering he's, he's, Tyrant. He's in your thing. Isn't he in the other book? No, that was somebody else. Oh. Uh, Tar Bafan, the Whispering Tyrant. Um, but you know that the Whispering Way is ancient. Um, long before the Whispering Tyrant was a thing. Did I do a knowledge history or something like that? Uh, it won't get you any more information. Okay. Um, and you said you wanted to... You wanted... Uh, what's her name? You wanted Kendra to come over? Yeah, see if like she could help us like with the books and whatnot. What do you want her to specifically do? If she speaks region. Would you like Can, to ask her? Kendra, do you speak region? And then in Verisian, she will speak back yes. And then she'll laugh and say, yes, I do. On the gun. I hand her the I hand her the book and be like, "What is the title of this book?" The one that you found in the chest. Yes. This this says the anthology of Bosrath. Oh. Wait, what? Like. You say like that, that like that, Bosworth? Hello. <laughs> Spider Man <laughs> meme? Where they're pointing at each other? Can you, can you uh, say the title again? Huh? What was the title again? The Anthology of Bosrath. 
I forgot he had that. Hmm? Oh, no, I don't know. I was thinking of something else. Sorry. Uh, yeah, you, uh, you guys just seem confused that I did about this one. Yeah. I mean, isn't that your name? Uh, yes, it is. Holy what? shit, I didn't even notice. Sorry. Yeah, what the heck? Uh, it's, I think anthology might be a bad word, uh, but it's the, um, it details your heritage. So, my, like, family tree. Yes. Um, if you'd like to do a perception check on the inside, um, a lot of it is written in old Varesian, so she can only tell you a little bit of information, but if you'd like to do a perception check on the inside, um, you can do that. It's like that book in the Bible that says all of Jesus' ancestors or whatever. Oh, the worst one. Yeah. <laughs> and then all of them? Yes. And then they all died. The end. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. Oh, Whoa. Kippy. Oh, Whoa. Oh, Kippy. Can't believe you spoiled the Bible for me. How could you? Hey, I'm going to bring it down for you one time here, Josh. Uh, you can't spoil a fairy tale, bud. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> We went there. Um, okay, so yeah, I'll roll perception. Uh, so I have a plus three, or no, wait, shit. Do I have a minus two in that? What's so whatever your wisdom is. You probably do have a minus two. Yeah, that's going to be a big old minus two on that one, boy. So is this perception? Yeah. What, are we, what are we doing with this book? Yeah. Besides Spider-Man memeing PJ's character? Uh, you're just trying to figure out what it is. I mean, besides the fact that it's his heritage. And Kendra will, right, Kendra so will be well. with you and roll. She'll uh, she'll look over and roll with you. Cool. Uh, yeah, she doesn't really know much, but you can tell that it details, um, like in specifics, your uh, your father's heritage. And where he is from, and oh, wow. that he ascended, or he is a descendant uh, who was crossbred, like not crossbred, but like you have. He is the angelic celestial side of your bloodline. Gotcha. However, it does not make any mention of your mother's bloodline, which is your abyssal bloodline. Right. But it does mention your mother's. No, you mean it mentions father's? You mean? Oh, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. All right. So all dad, no mom. Mm-hmm. Bingo. Are you like a reverse uh, Jesus? There's a <laughs> bunch of other things in there as well. <laughs> hey, we we already we already nicknamed PJ Little Mickey. <laughs> like a seahorse Jesus. Gotcha. Yeah. The but there's a bunch of, I mean, it details more, just it's old Parisian, so it takes a while to decipher. This there's... is more than I ever knew regarding my family, so maybe we'll find someone that speaks old Parisian at the library that can help us, or reads old Parisian, rather. Okay. Can so we you ask guys... Kendra who else reads Parisian? Um, I, mean, I don't read period so she'll she'll tell you that um the only one that she ever knew um in this town that read old Varetian was Petros uh of however course. She, of course she, she knew of a lot of uh a lot of his friends that taught at the at the University of Lefestad who did speak or who can speak old Varetian archaic Varetian Kendra, would my father know how to speak Varesian? I, I do not know. Um, I, I think I've only met your father a couple of times. Interesting. He never spoke of it. Um. All right. Let's see. Uh. Da, 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 da. So you can. Let's see. Uh, 
uh, so you can converse with um, other members of the of Ravengrove, like other townspeople, and see what they know about the Whispering Way, um, or Harrowstone, or the Five Prisoners. Um, it just you have to be diplomatic because they don't like you. Oh wait, really quick. Um, is it worth me doing any sort of perception check on the on the books? Is that what you guys did for the to scan the the titles of the books? Or was that we determined that was not? Sorry. Yeah, you don't need it. You don't need it. Coming in hot. Okay, sounds good. Um. All right, where what do you guys want to do next? You have received all the information that you could on your massive uh, 13 from your roles. Okay. I'm doing what I can here. <laughs> so you can you can just walk around the town, um, talk to locals. If you talk to locals, it doesn't like, if your diplomacy fails, they don't like hate you more. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, can we re-suggest going to the? Is this all? Is this the, the idea? Would be this like after dinner then? At this point, so we've we've done kind of like the 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 Bible study, and now we're we're ready to head out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> or, you know, whatever. Um, then I think we need to propose uh, going to the temple. I propose we now go to the temple. Okay. Not a bad idea. Are you, are you all in favor of going to the temple? Yep. Yep. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna switch maps. Woo! I'm gonna just make sure I have all of this set up. Oh, I'm gonna get married. This is a very large map, so. Wow. No, this one's like really large. Um. Holy okay. oh, baby, you this are, is what you I'm are, talking about. You are bottom right, kind of. This is a giant slice like, size one. <clears throat> what in the holy hell is going on here? This is the temple or is this the town? This is where we're, we're at. at the house. We're right this outside the, the house temple. we're staying. Yeah. So at the bottom yeah. right, uh, yeah, you'll see it. I've labeled it Lower Moore House. Gotcha. Okay. So, um, if you go, if you go south, here, let me, let me reveal a little bit more. That way you guys can get a little more lay of the land. Okay. So, south, this way, leads you to Harrowstone. Whatever that is, you'd have to figure it out what it is. Sure. I mean, um, and then let's see. North leads to like the center of town. This way, up this way. Um, over this way is just like just another part of like the farmlands. It's over here. Uh, the temple is um the temple is northwest, so you'd have to go this way. So we go down, then up. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. Yep, I'm good. What's your should we should we establish a walking order? That's kind of important in this game. Um, sure, yeah. Okay. Um, I can be in the front. I'm a fighter. I I'm okay being in the in the rear. I can uh I'll I'll go behind Zaid. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna be on that ass. <laughs> All right. 
So everyone line up yeah, behind me then. I was about to say that. Now, now we actually have to all line up. All right, I'll be back here. Fill it in, boys. <laughs> Hey. So this is um, this is uh, nighttime. So Bursho, you you would get your additional was it dark yep. vision or like dark vision, yeah. dim light and stuff. Yep, yep. So should I be closer up? Does nobody else have any uh, any like if if night? PJ's a half orc, he would have dark vision. I do have dark vision, yeah. I mean, right, really, yeah. it, it's not really key because you're not like sneaking around and you're not trying to find stuff that much. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're. I could honestly reveal to you this whole place and it would be fine. But I'll let you know if we're about to trip on something. There okay. You um, I do not have dark vision, so let me know if I'm about to smack into a wall or something. <laughs> I think I, have, I think I have low light. You're good. I have the, none. The, the moon is awful bright here, so it's, I mean... Okay, so I can at least guide them without being an idiot. Yeah, you're not going to trip and fall, or and you don't have to stealth or anything like that, but... Let's go! Boop! And we're off. Does anyone want to do any perception checks while we're walking around? I can't sure. see diddly, so... Yeah, I'll, I'll roll a perception. I'll give it a... Look at this. Wait, um, which one of you two is it? Sorry, is it PJ or Andrew that has uh, dim light vision? I have low light, you and do. he has dark. I have mm -hmm. dark vision. I have okay. low light, though. I'll um, do a perception check on our next move. How about that? I got a nine. So not very good. And it's a minus two, so. Hey, 17. Fifteen after your minus two? Yeah. That's still good. Ain't bad. Seventy five percent. That's a B. C? So I'm I'm uh, I'm okay. I'm not rolling on this uh thing. I'll roll I'll roll a little bit later. Because I can can I I can only perception in you can as much as you it. want. Oh, so I can do it now, next yep. like, you can do as much as you whatever. want. Yeah. Literally yeah. every step you take, you could roll perception. YOLO. All right. So my okay. So we are in in darkness then, right? Or dim light or darkness? So I get plus yeah. four on my perception. Okay. Bunk. Give us a good one. Okay. Uh, All right. That's what pretty we got. good. Ooh, more town, baby. Zoop. So, the perception gives us knowledge of things. It just gives you vision. Yeah, more detailed oh, vision. Of the map. I got you. I got you. All right, I'm gonna roll it again. When you get here, you notice uh -oh. five large poles. Um, what was your perception? You bug directly in front of me. So five large poles? 16 was our highest. Okay, so you see five large poles. Uh, I mean, it's not really necessary. Um, you know that... Uh, does anybody have knowledge local? Uh, I do. I have... Um, I have four. Knowledge local. You know that these are the, the posting <laughs> poles. Jesus Christ. Who's yelling? My wife. No. Uh, sorry. So these are the posting poles right here. You see five giant pole or like posts poked into the ground. Um, and you just they, you know they they have news from outside Raven Grow. They have news from inside. Um, you see a lot of people, you know, just posting about. You know, if you need work or if you need blah, 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 you know, kind of think of it as like where people post their missing animals, like missing mm. pets. Um, you you don't see a lot of the missing pets. Uh, you do see a couple that are saying uh, they're missing their cat or their, or their rat or, or, you know, mouse or something like that. Like something took one of their small pets. Specifically? Um, uh, that's just... I'm just making things up. Okay. Okay. 
that that was like important. He's enriching our world. Yeah, yeah, okay. This is an important reason why. But you just, you know, it tells you about what's going on outside of Raven and Grow and like elections coming up and temple worship and things like that. Okay, cool, got it. Um, all right, so everybody move yourselves up to here. And then uh, whoever, whoever can see, uh, yep. go ahead and do a perception check. Rolling. Right. Son of a bitch. Do I have yeah, eyes? We were rolling for like, me. Damn, I'm blind as bad. I can't, see, I can't see anything, but I'll do it anyways. Six. I got 12. Uh, what was the highest? Drew, what'd you get? Eight, 18. My okay. man. Yeah, that ain't bad. You, I will, man. Uh, I'm going to reveal some stuff. Don't move, but I'm going to reveal some stuff. I'm about to get into a combat here, y'all. No, you're not. All right, just kidding. Ah, oh, you fell for it. Losers. <laughs> oh my gosh, will this work? Okay. So you see like a little shack going up here. Um, you know that this is a bridge over a river. Um, you know that you were walking past the stream back here. Here's a little thing. Um, you do, however, know if you go to the left, um, it'll take you to Gibbs Hefenis's, Hefenis's place. Uh, the guy, the old, wi you know, wirely, whatever. You also know um, that the Harrowstone Memorial is down there. You don't know what the memorial is for, but you know that there's a memorial for Harrowstone down this way. I suggest we do that. You said what? I suggest you go to the memorial. You guys want to go to the memorial? I think we should do the Barasma temple first. And yeah, then... I feel like the temple takes precedence here. I mean, it's up to you guys. You guys can do whatever you want. What the fuck it's is fun. that in the background? It's, it's my wife and her friends. Uh, All I just heard was someone yell, you're gay? <laughs> yeah, All right, so what are you guys doing? Are you guys going... Are you guys going this way, or are you guys going this way? No, you're going to cross Okay, well, go ahead and move yourself up. Take us to the chapel. All right, ignore that. <laughs> I was still on draw mode. All right, we're just we're just are we like sprinting here? Like where? How? Where is this? Place? Man, we moving. We moving. I mean, awesome. there's, there's not like, there's not like a lot. Uh, do a perception check when you get there. I will. Big money, Jimmy. Nice. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Oh jeez. Right, Natural twenty for a twenty. Twenty-one. So. All right. So you can see if you look well, south. Oh, you can now see because all of this is like flat. Once you walked across, since you already knew that the place was down here, you can tell that this is Gibbs house and the memorial. Is right here. Everybody see that? No. Yeah. I labeled okay. them. Uh, you also see I'm just going to reveal a big chunk of this. Oh my gosh. I hate this. 
that Andrew's thinking the same thing right now. Mm. All right. You can go ahead and move yourselves up here. Way up. Way up. We, and we as you're approaching, shall I roll to perceive once again? Uh, no, you don't need to. No, God damn it. As you are pulling up, you can see to the right over here. Very this good. building right here. Yep. Is yep. Uh, that's where Vashian Hearthmount Hearthmount lives in this giant place right here. Okay. Um, and then this building in front of you, you can see like this is like a house that um, uh, Father Grimborough would live in. Um, this is the Temple of Phrasma, and it is very noticeable as it has. Um, it is the only building that you have seen so far that is as intricately built. And it has a giant spiraling comet uh, in stained glass on the front of it, like right here. Imagine this. Imagine this is like an overhang, and right here is where the stained glass is. Pretty sick. All right, so we'll pop, we'll pop up. Okay. I don't. I didn't draw the Temple of Phrasma because there's not a point in me drawing it. That's like, fine. Yeah, Theater of the mind. Um, but you do you do uh, have to do a diplomacy check with the uh, with Father Grimborough. Okay, uh, Aaron, do you want to? Is this before we enter, or like as once we enter? Uh, you can enter at any point. Uh, jo I mean to pay respects to Phrasma and things like that. I mean, Josh, only Josh would, but yeah, yeah. I, I'll do that in order to actually use their resources to do research. You, you have, have the, to diplomacy. Gotcha. You have to be nice to them and have them somewhat like you. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. And are you going to use your, uh, so whenever somebody is ready, tell yeah, me what I can you give like it to you. say. Tell me what you want to say to Father Grimborough and uh, roll your d20, and then we'll go from there. I'll give it to um, – I'll give the enhanced diplomacy to um, Josh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he, Josh will get a bonus because he is a worshiper of Phrasma, so. Correct. That's why I was, what I was thinking, so. Heck. All right, so I'll walk up to Father Grimborough. Get a plus um, two, Josh. Oh, sick. Um, if any of you want to aid him in the diplomacy check, um, you can. Just, you'd have to, you know, contribute something to what Josh says. Yeah, so I'll walk up and uh, say he's doing whatever, doing his churchly duties inside or whatever. And I'll go to him and be like, good evening, Father. Oh. Well, nice to see you. I thought you guys would have gone by now. It is never too late to worship Our Lady. Well, you are always welcome here. And your friends, are they going to be respectful? I believe so, or I will make sure that they are. I do have a question for you, and I am apologize for the, the lateness of my approach, but we are in dire need of some information, and I know there is no better place than the lady herself and her resources to perhaps help us in our in our quest for information. Well, what have you come to research? Um, so I mentioned the things that we talk right now. Do we only get to pick one of the three to research while we're here, or do we get all of them? You can re the only person who, like, you've already researched the Whispering Way, so you can research any three of them 
but you can only do it once per day. Okay, so we, whatever one I pick, that's the one I get for here for today. No, you can do it for each one. Oh, okay. Well, let's do so it. So I'm in, do one, I'll, yeah. one for Harrowstone, one for the Prisoners, one for the Whispering Way, but you've already done the Whispering Way today, so you can't do it until, again, until okay, tomorrow. Okay, so we have either Harrowstone or the Prisoners? Yeah. Um, group, do you guys want me to ask about a particular one, or do you not care? Uh, either one's good for me. Uh, Harrowstone? I've been really on that one. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, the Harrowstone would be good. <clears throat> yeah. Father, we are we are being asked posthumously by our dear our dear friend Petros about some information about this place that I, as a foreigner, am not familiar with. Could you please tell me? about the Harrowstone, or perhaps guide me on any scrolls or tomes that could enlighten me about what is going on, so that I may help in the professor's posthumous wishes. He, uh, he seems very hesitant, um, and, you know, kind of, like, nervously, uh, you know, picks up something to, like, act like he's doing something, and he says, Can you get a sense of motive? Sure. And you tell me what you want me to do as diplomacy, too, by the way. I, I'm just kind of going until you tell me to. You, you can go ahead and roll it. I mean, I'm assuming... Uh, uh, what's your sense of motive? 16 sense motive. Uh, you can tell that he just doesn't like that topic. Okay, well, um, I rolled this so I will so. Well, I'll chime in to aid Josh, and I'll say... Um, Do you want to cast your enhanced diplomacy on him as well? I already did, yep. Okay. It lasts for, like, a minute, because it's a minute per level. So That gives me, that gives me an eight. Okay, you know, anybody else want to chime in? And, be a nine. And... I have a minus one. Okay, so... so What's I good? will... So, basically, you got to... It's diplomacy, and you have to kind of give uh, like a little speech kind of thing to kind of help um, Zaid. So, yeah, my diplomacy is minus two. So uh, mine's a minus one. You just have to get a ten or higher. Yeah. So you'd have to uh, roll twelve. Shit. Okay. So I have to roll twelve. So, but you have to contribute something to like the yeah. to talking to the to the father grim Earl. like to, to calm him down or to say like please like this is a dire circumstances blah 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 yeah something like that okay. Okay. we'd be, uh, we'd, be just... we'd be like rude with him or is that are you saying like he'll just uh, it's like rude not, is intimidating just kick this out of the i would not the, i uh, wouldn't do rude yeah i wouldn't yeah, do like, rude no uh, i can do it i can do it all right i'm gonna roll unless there's any objections Get, so yeah, roll, first. No, either speak say first and, then and then roll, roll yeah. or okay. roll and then say. So either he's one. in the process of, just to make sure I have this correct, um, he's in the process of about to kick us out, correct? No. No, he just, he's he, just awkward. Yeah. You you guys are approaching him. He looks him unsettled. Him. He looks unsettled. Yeah, you're, you're approaching so, him to see if you can use the Temple of Phrasma to do research on topics. However, he doesn't necessarily want to so you are convincing sure. him to okay. let you all right all right here we go here we go uh i approach father grimborough i say i know this is a unorthodox request and though i'm not familiar with your customs i do want to have the utmost respect for this place um given the request our friend has made on his death uh we fear that troubles may be afoot and this would be the best way for us to research um, to ensure the safety of the people of this city. And I uh, roll. What? <laughs> Show me the money. Fuck. Oh, man. Oh, to get a nine. <laughs> oh, no. You, did, uh, you then... did make it, so you can add two to Josh. So, Josh, you have a total of plus four right now. Isn't that, isn't that a minus two, though? So that's a nine? I'm the DM. I can do whatever the fuck I want. All right. Hey. <laughs> I'll say Scott's operating on a rule of cool, so that's fine by me. Yeah, I usually and give I give bonus points if people do good speeches, and that was a good speech. So, 
Yay! Speech, 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 speech. All right, so that puts me up to a ten total. Drew, you want to uh, sure finish your yep. roll? Sure. Um, I will say, Father, I know that um, you see that I worship the other lady Iomadai, but um, Petros meant a lot to me, and um, I know that this topic is not an easy one to talk about, um, but it would behoove us, um, or it would, uh, benefit is probably better. Uh, it benefits us uh, to gain as much intel as we can to aid him in his uh, journey into the afterlife. Hopefully Lady Farazma has taken care of him already. Okay, go ahead and roll. Bersha, you want to yeah. add anything? I honestly All right, don't sweet. know what to add. Or we just got it. Uh, we're up to 12. Is it no. an average? No, I think it, it couldn't hurt. It, it just adds plus two to my roll. So I had an eight, and then I got two from PJ and two from Andrew. I don't so know. Or the 12. Can my character just be intimidated by this whole whole experience? Not saying anything? You don't have to add anything. Um, I legitimately do not know what I would say beyond what PJ had. Because I was basically going to say the same thing PJ said. Um, I'll, uh, wait, so, okay, hold on, really quick. So, is it, is, is it average all of our dice rolls, or does it just take the, the highest one? It's, so, uh, mine's, it's, what, mine's it's, Josh is, it's the one with the intent. So, Josh has the intent, and so we are trying to bolster his score, essentially. So, you can do one by yourself and try and get one higher than Josh, but since he has the favor of Phrasma, he was the one that was speaking so that he could gain the advantage. So that's why we're trying to boost his number up, essentially. Uh, I, I guess what I don't understand is what is what is how does how do our roles boost his his number? So you have to get ten or higher. So you have to get a ten oh, or a higher. So you're, so you're, just, you're, saying, you're just you're just aiding him. You're you're correct. like he's talking yeah. and you're like you're negotiating and you're like hey yeah you know listen this is yeah. we're just trying to help with Petros and yeah, blah, yeah, yeah, blah blah yeah. blah and figuring out about okay. this that and the other. Yeah, sorry, I, I just I just missed the 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 aiding part of that. So I got you. No, it's all um, good. Yeah, it's all good. Um, this guy was really quick. This, if I remember, this this guy knew the. He was at the funeral, right? So he he knew him pretty well. Yeah. He was. Um, he wasn't at the funeral, but he was the one who, when you got to the end, uh, nice. when you got to the end, he was or, yeah, the one yeah, yeah. who like he was, he was the said everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Yeah, I guess just be like, uh, is everybody. Mm. Yeah, to add on to what everybody else said, yes, we're really, really need to, we're really struggling. We really need to find answers to what's going on here, and we need your help. Whole is he a holy person? I don't know. Father? What, what, what do you call him? Yeah. He's Father yeah. Broom. Sure, Father. Yes, yes, Father. Oh. Yeah, can I Let there go. You go. Yeah, there nice. you go. So you got. What sixteen total? Fourteen total? Fourteen. Okay. Um, he'll look at you and he'll say, "The the night is very late, and most of these people are going home and intending, you know, to their to their families, and we are about to be closing this. I'm sure, uh, Farazma would." understand postponing this one day and he'll look at Zaid and nod his head as it has been a long day with the burial of Petros and you know I myself am grieving as I knew him if you come back tomorrow we we might be able to when the day is earlier I will show you around and be able to help you find the information that you're looking for. Thank you, Father. We appreciate your help. So you guys completely failed the diplomacy. 
<laughs> but it certainly sounds like it. I, I would like to 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 physically express frustration inside of the uh, temple, please. No. Um, I'll murder him about this. I'm not murdering it. I'm just I'm just saying. I, can I can I can I at least be a little frustrated? You wanna you wanna yeah. I mean you can express your frustration. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't have to like actually like say. You want to like? To, to the you want to stop I would out, or you want to flap your wings, or what do you want to do? <laughs> uh, you want to make bird noises like? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very I'm, upset. Uh, <laughs> fine. No, I, I'll, I'll take it lying down. I'll just, I'll just. Uh, I ask you why? Yeah. Okay. So, so you <laughs> failed. You failed this diplomacy check. Um, you can try again tomorrow. With the DC will be lowered on the diplomacy check, but you can try again tomorrow to see if he'll, you know, be more willing to let you access it. Okay. Um, if we have to. And you also, he also doesn't know any of you. Um, so it's harder for him to trust you if he doesn't know anyone that's with you. Can I come in early? We should bring Kendra. We should bring Kendra with her, with him. Can I come in early to pray and then maybe have a little side chat with him to kind of warm up and introduce myself to him so we can at least have one friend in the neighborhood? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You sure can. You should, t um, you should take Kendra with you. You can. Yeah, I, like, I like that idea a lot. Yeah, why don't you, you can, when you get back to the place, you can ask Kendra and see if she'll go with you in the morning, as she is a worshiper of Phrasma as well. Oh, That's yeah, good. That. That's why yeah. I said that. Okay, uh, out, outside, uh, right here, you see another set of uh, posting poles. Um, More poles. That just, that just mainly detail, I mean, they're mainly focused on, like, you know, Come, you know, come worship, blah, 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 on this day. So you guys, it's about 8, 9 p.m. Um, and, I mean, we're getting close to 10 p.m. Uh, do you guys want to, do you want to, like, loop back around this way and just do some perception checks and go back to her house? I mean, it's a little far away. Or do you guys want to go back south and go home? Or go to the memorial, or just uh, go back to her house. Well, I want to get up early to go to the church, so I don't really want to diddle that all around too much. But that's my vote. Yeah, just go, um, go north the long way, and just roll some perceptions, and okay, go back to her house. I'll yeah, just get a lay of the land here again. Yeah, scope that's it out, and we'll hit it yeah. hard the next morning, which I'm assuming will be the next session, Scott. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then yeah, I, I, I think that's, that's the move. Since I'm the most agrees. frustrated, I will leave first. Oh, okay. okay. He's going to stomp out. Stomp out. Yeah. Stomp out. <laughs> I took, a, took a shit on the floor on the way out. <laughs> I'll stay behind and clean it up. You you upper deck, <laughs> you, you upper deck the temple of Phrasma? Yeah. Oh, nice. oh, finally. Where were you a minute ago? So, what is that? What is that perception? Yeah. Yeah, it's a nat twenty. All right. If you guys want to move yourself all the way north, I'll I I will use that perception as your as just lead like the way, Trotta. Where are we ending up? Like in in here, I'm assuming. Sir. Yeah, up up at the top. Yeah. Um. Okay. So on I the left, everything. this house right here is Councilman Garen Murakar's. Uh. House. This one. Yeah, this one. You put that on the map. This one right here. Wow. And these are crops, in case you didn't know. Gary man, you said? Garen Murakar. Uh G H A R E N last name M U R. I C A R Murakar. I don't care about his last name. We'll just put Captain. This house right here. Yep. That is.
Councilwoman Shonda Faravan. Councilwoman. Okay. Hey, Shonda? God damn it, Joe. <laughs> uh, Shonda Faravan. F A R A Van. Far or Van? <laughs> Toe polar trade will take bad credit, no credit, no problem. <laughs> north, if you go north, that is to the Restlands where you were. Okay, so I'll go to the, the burial grounds? Yes. Okay. All right. Go ahead and uh, you can, I don't know if you see this, go this way. You can go ahead and move yourselves like here. Done. Okay. Um, you see another set of posting poles right here. All right. Yeah, right I got here. it. Oh, okay. Poles. This right here is the unfurling scroll. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's where that is. Put that is that in the it. library? It's, it's the, the schoolhouse slash magic shop. Oh, cool. And if you guys want to move yourselves all the way down to here, I'll be able to reveal the rest of the... The rest of it. Was PJ rolled in that twenty, or did you get in the entire lay of the land? You, I mean, you don't need it's. It's just it's a town. Like you're gonna figure okay. out what it is anyway. So there's not you. You don't really have to like notice. Right, it's not a big secret. Yeah. They all have names. Fucking me. Nice. Good job. Uh, nice uh, Virgil, with Natty your two, you God you damn fall it. flat. Natty twenty. Arian, very nice. Flat on your face, Bersho. And uh, I, I, I accidentally stabbed my eyeballs out while trying to look around the town. <laughs> 26. <laughs> you fall flat on your face and you take 51 points of damage. <laughs> yes. There you go. Congratulations. <laughs> oh. Okay, if you want to move to the center here, I'll be able to deal everything. Down. Actually, that oh, was yeah. a pretty. That was a decent roll. Fifty-one. That was a decent roll. I didn't get any two or one. That's like an insta kill. Okay, are you guys ready to name some buildings? I'm ready. Rattle them off. Okay, this one over here to the left. Uh, have I already named that? I think I already named that. Can you Wait. see the name? No. Hold on. I'll reveal the name. Oh, yep. Laughing Demon. Actually, let me okay. put this on the map layer. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, then... Dear God. That is the jail right here. Okay. Uh, you see See another set of poles right here. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You see another set of poles right here. Um, I don't know where right here is. Up here near the Laughing Demon, and then right here when you walked in. Okay. Honestly, the posting poles don't really matter. You don't need to label those. Well, I'm doing it anyways. Dang it. All right. This building to the west is right here. That is Jominda's Apothecary. Oh, that's a shop. Those are drug store. Drug store. Jominda's. Jominda's. Yep. This building right here is the general store. Which one? This, this one? one. Okay. No, this one. Okay, let I me can't do. See it. I can't easier. see it. I got it. No, this one. This, this one. You're at the wrong one? place. 
This oh, one. Whose ping am I seeing? Okay. Am I seeing my own ping? I might be seeing my no. own ping. This needs to go here. You, you, your, your ping isn't showing, Scott. That's why we can't. Oh, is it? No. Show to your, ping, your ping wasn't showing. It might have to be on the map layer or something, so we can't see it. Oh, I probably am. I'm on the GM layer. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> All right, so which one? This one? Yeah. Uh, this one is the outward in. Uh, outward in? Uh, yep, the outward in. I like that name. It's very punny. This one right here, the center area. Yep. Town Square. Okay. Shocker. Um, this building right here is the yep. forge. Whoa. That one. Yep. The forge. Stream went crazy for a second, but we fixed it. <laughs> this is the silk purse. And this is the town hall. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and move your self south. Um, the last building of note is this one all the way down here. I forgot to give it to you. Yeah, what is it? This one is Councilwoman Murda Straylock's house. Where? Murda? Murda. Down here. Murder, but not. Murder, so, but with the down there more. With a, <laughs> yeah. Down, down here. here. Yep, got it. Yep. All right. Um. So you guys have now circled. You know where everything is, and the in case you need to go somewhere specifically. Um. That's that's basically all the waypoints that we need to know. Yep. Yeah. Yep. No. Cool. Where is where is everybody? Down near the down Lur by, uh, Lurmore house. Yeah, I'm down by Arian. Or er, wait, Taid. Never mind. Going back. Jump. Uh, where did where did you go, Josh? I'm right next to him. We're all down here. We're all down there. I don't see your token. It's right in the house. There. We're all there. Uh, all right, whatever. Um, okay, so you guys can... We're going to go back to the Lorimore house. Um, you guys are ready for bed. If you want to talk to her about anything before you guys go to bed, um, feel free to. Josh, I know you wanted to talk to her about some stuff. Yep. Does anyone else want to? Nope. Before I go? Uh, no. I'll, uh, I'll go I'm, about I'm curious about your, your conversation with her. So. Okay. You can walk up with me. I will walk up with you. Excuse me, my lady. Yes. Uh, would you please? Shot back a little late. Yes, we have been exploring town. We needed some fresh air. Will you please join me in going to the temple in the morning? I want to pay my due respects to Our Lady, and uh, figured you would know our more local customs and those nearby, and may make me feel more acquainted to this temple. Oh, well, I would love that. Yes. Um, what time I normally go at like 8 a.m. Is that okay? I will be up at seven. I will meet 
meet you down here at 8 or 7.45 to walk together. <laughs> what would you like for breakfast? Uh, I named some Osirian dish, hoping that she would know what it is. Naan or something, I don't know. I don't know if I can do that exact same thing as we do not have those specific ingredients, but I will make you something as close to it as I can. Is that all right? I appreciate the effort. Anything is more than more than enough. You are much too kind. And I'm sorry, Atrada? Is that correct? Uh, yes. Will you be joining us for services in the morning? As much as I hate to get up that early, I will join you for services, yes. And will it just be the two of you? Are they within earshot, or...? I'm not it. Question. Are you, are you guys, yeah, like, awake for the evening? For uh, I just say that I do not speak for everybody else. You'll have to ask them. Well, if they have not mentioned it to me, I will be up at 8, 7.30, and uh, breakfast will be promptly at 7.45, and we will be out the door. Okay? Sounds good. I look forward to it. And she'll uh, she'll just smile at both of you and uh, kind of like give a sorry more friendly smile to uh, Zaid, and she'll say good night to both of you, and she'll go to bed. Good, I think good night, no Syrian, and then head to bed as well. I do not. <laughs> All right, that's, I mean, that's all I, I mean, it's 10 o'clock. I figure we'll pick it up next week. Sounds Steve, good. Vanessa. That's a win. No, this is good. I like, I like the world building. It's really cool. It gets me excited to see, like, what else there is. And I know you guys have said, like, combat is, like, brutal. So I'm very, very yes. curious to see how that goes. <laughs>